to talk about secondary school. I know a lot of my viewers are in secondary school. I'm very hard. I'm in year seven, so I am very young, and although I might seem a lot older, I it's a long struggle to me. I have dyslexia tendencies, which means I have a partial bit of dyslexia, and which means it help makes me struggle a bit more. And if any of you's got dyslexia and you need any help, you should watch this. It, it, it's gonna help you and. If we're going to talk about fears in secondary school, upcoming things, and how to handle things. You'll get very stressed over the time, so I suggest getting yourself a cuddly toy that you like, or pick one out of your vodka. And every night, if you don't even sleep with a teddy, it's fine too. I know people might bother you, I do, and um, if you do. You should definitely get one. I have Mary Poppins, and she's the most loveliest thing to have. I like stroking her dress. Cause the material is really nice, and I like messing around with the little feather. And I love feeling the carpet bag she has. And this, like, something you can maybe like just touch, even if it's just a pillow or some fuzzy blanket, or even if it's just your door. If you like touching it and it calms you, keep hold of it. And it helps a lot. Um, well, one of my last videos was the post-it notes. They help with secondary school. It gives you reminders when tests are coming up, tells you to revise, and if they're always there, then you know what to do, and you're never going to forget anything, and you won't get detentions. Let's talk about detentions! Detentions! are not that bad. I've had about three of this year and although it's been it's the summer term but it's the first half of it right now and half term's a week away. Yay and I have a cooking assessment next week and I'm pretty stressed about this. Uh, you do do cooking when you're in year seven and art but you and a lot of PE but I think you should be focusing on science Science, English, and maths. These are the lessons you're probably going to have most times the week. I have maths four times of the week, English five times of the week, and science five times a week. Wait, oh, four times a week for science, actually. So, English is my busiest lesson, and science and math comes after. I have cooking only once every other week, and I have art once every other week, and I have PE two times a week as well so PE is a big thing so you want to stick with that I have RE history French and three times a week and geography two times a week so you want to most like focus on science English and maths then you want to figure work up work on history PE geography I feel it depends on what you want to be when you're older but you must work on your science English and maths because you need put mostly all of them for all jobs most people kids are going for I'm back and what were we talking about we were talking about oh let's and Another thing with school is dressing, and schools probably have smart regulations, so always make yourself look smart. Don't wear any makeup, even if it's just foundation you put, don't put any on it. You should be your normal self. Show people what you're really made of. Covering yourself up can be a stupid thing, and no lot of people, if you want to get into your and go a bit drastic with makeup, wearing like purple lipstick. Purple, and it looks horrible. And massive fake eyelashes, and it never looks good. Always looks like they're trying too hard to be older. Just if you want to be seen as older, try and change your responsibilities and grow up a little bit, like in yourself. Don't wait until like physically grow, but I mean like like get rid of kiddie habits and stuff like that you can't once you're like out from school you can be a kid if you want 
people in school, a lot of people take it a lot seriously. Now, basic subject, subjects I want to get on to is bullying. Bullying doesn't happen mostly online now with cyberbullying, and that's what cyberbullying is, bullying online. And so I stick to the limit of ages, because I know a lot of people my age that use Facebook and Twitter and Instagram when they're way too young to be able to use it. And I feel like the risk of them being bullied is more likely than me, although I just have Snapchat. Snapchat, when I'm old enough to use, which is EG, but I'm EG2306204 if you want to be friends with me, I will accept you immediately, because I just like as many people as possible. Possible, I just like to see what things are going on in the world. And bullying doesn't happen mostly in school, like physical bullying. It might seem that people call you a lot of names, I've known a lot of... 12 and 13 year olds do swear and it's appalling in school so don't be offended by any of them because it is kind of natural and the physical bullying doesn't happen you might see a lot of lads having loud fights they will get told off if they to find out but really the one arm will get hurt in the end and then they learn so i don't want you to worry too much about this even if you are big skinny or just Norm, like, kind of like a normal weight for an age kid of your age. Like, I'm overweight, as you can see in most of my other videos, from what I'm wearing. And I've never been bullied once in my life, and I don't recommend anyone that's thinking about bullying me to do it, or to bully anyone else to do it, because it can affect someone's life. And I think, imagine if it happened to you, would you be very happy? And if I did it, I, if I, and I, I've never been bullied, but if I was, I'd be very upset. And that's why I choose not to do it, because not doing it is a very bad thing, and it can cause you a lot of trouble. And I suggest not being naughty and cheeky to your teachers as well, because like, they're like me and my teachers, and sometimes a lot of people see you as a bad person, and if you're mean to others, then that makes you a bad person. Now, I want to talk about expectations. It's not going to go all perfect on your first day. There's going to be a lot of faults. And the worst thing is, I fell in the cafeteria the other day, carrying my tray, and I spilt my dinner all down someone else. And it was absolutely embarrassing. Everyone turned and laughed at me, and it was horrible. I was picked on all day through it. But it never happened from that day onwards. Everyone just forgot because. There was something awesome going on on like celebrities and stuff. I think it was um, um well Mix's new album coming out. Look at weird. Yeah, that was just putting me on in school. So everyone forgot about it. But sometimes it doesn't always fade away. So the best option is to be aware of your surroundings and what you're doing because what you can do it can affect your appearance to other people and that can be very bad for you and I also suggest that you be as nice as you can be but don't go too over the top and be because if you be too nice you can sometimes be across as a little bit weird because you act a lot different to others so I say you use your manners and be polite but when you want to get in a rage and shout and stuff just go in a quiet area take deep breaths and stuff and come back out normally don't put on an act or anything because then people will realize that you're not doing anything right well guys we're gonna run out of time now because we've only got 40 minutes 40 seconds left of time talk because i like to keep my minutes in the space of 10 minutes i've been talking for ages so if you have any problems or anything comment down below and i'll talk about them and like give this thing a, a video a thumbs up if it's helped you okay thumbsy so i've got to go now so bye guys hope you get well in secondary school and try your best take the advice so bye